today I'm going to be doing a book review of a book that I've actually kind of been struggling to review. I tried to write some things on Goodreads after I finished it and a couple of times since then and I haven't really been able to form my thoughts around it but today I sat down and just wrote out a review in my notebook and I decided that I would film it. So here I am doing a book review of Stay With Me by Ayobami Adebayo. This is a book that I was really really excited to read. It's been on my radar since last April or May since the time that the Bailey's Women's Prize for Fiction shortlist was announced. It has been a book that I've been wanting to read ever since and it didn't come out in the United States until August so I wasn't able to get my hands on it until August and then I finally decided to read it this month in January. So it's been kind of a long time coming. So this book follows a young couple, Yajide and Akin, and they met and fell in love when they were in university in Nigeria. And shortly after that, they get married. And although their customs and culture allow Akin to take multiple wives, they decide that they are going to be a monogamous couple and he is not going to be married to anyone else. But after four years of trying and failing to have a baby, Akin is forced by his mother to take a second wife. Desperately in love with her, husband, Yajide realizes that she has to do everything in her power to become pregnant. And this leads to some shocking choices and some very surprising outcomes. So there were some things I really loved about this book. First of all, the writing style was absolutely gorgeous. Adebayo did a really fantastic job of constructing sentences that wove the story together in a really breathtaking way. There were moments when I was reading this book that I was just taken aback by how beautiful the writing was. I also thought that she did a really good job of fleshing out the characters. Both Yujide and Akin felt like real people. They felt very fleshed out and flawed and just so realistic. And I always love when characters feel realistic. They don't just feel like characters, they feel like real people. Even the side characters are really fleshed out. I think she just across the board did a really good job of writing these characters. I also felt like the book had some very clear themes and she did a really good job of developing those themes throughout the story. Yujide's desperate need for a child and the meaning of motherhood to different people and also Akin's desperate love for his wife and wanting to do everything in his power to make her happy. Even the themes of family and what it means to be a sibling I felt like were just so well done. I felt like the themes in the book were very clear and you could definitely tell what kind of story that she was aiming for with the, with the way that she wrote the book. However, there were some things that I didn't like so much about this book. There was this kind of mystery that was hanging over the story the entire time. And it's not really like a, a edge of your seat kind of thing, but there's definitely a secret that is being kept that is hinted at throughout the book. And you want to know so desperately what it is. And I felt like I predicted it early on in the story. I felt like I figured out exactly what was going on and what the secret was. And so when the big reveal happened towards the end, I wasn't surprised. I always hate predicting the endings and predicting the secrets of books because the surprise factor is gone. And I love when I'm completely surprised. And unfortunately, this one just didn't surprise me. I also really didn't like the ending of this book. It felt too convenient. It felt too sweet of an ending. I felt like she set the story up to have this really amazing, shocking ending. And then she kind of went in the obvious direction, which I didn't like so much because I just, I wanted to be surprised. I wanted it to go somewhere beyond where it went. Overall, I did really, really like this book. The stakes were super high and the story itself, it kept me reading. I did want to see how everything was going to play out, but I feel like maybe I hyped it up in my mind a little bit too much. As I said, I was really looking forward to reading this book for almost a year and when I finally got around to it I had these super high expectations because I built it up in my mind and other people had just raved about how much they loved it and so I feel like it didn't quite meet the expectations that I was wanting it to. I felt like I had just hyped it up a little bit too much for myself and unfortunately it let me down a little bit. I did still really enjoy the story though and I am really glad that I read it and I would definitely recommend it to anyone who thinks that it sounds at all interesting. So those are my thoughts on Stay With Me by Ayobami Adebayo. If you've read this book and you have similar or different opinions to mine, I would really love to know down in the comments. Just be wary of spoilers. If you're going to talk about something spoilery, make sure that you give a good enough warning so that nobody is spoiled. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again very soon. Bye!